burgers. Yeah. 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 We work for burgers. Yeah. Burgers. Yes. Yes. We're ready to work. Yeah. High fives. Yes, ma'am. Happy Saturday. Oh. Oh.
All right, friends. So the first exercise that we're going to do, just so you can go ahead and get prepared, and then everything else I'll just show you when we get there, is going to be a front lateral raise combination. But we're not going to do it the normal, when I say front lateral raise, where we do at the same time and alternate, we're going to do a front and a lateral. So we're still moving double-sided, and we're just combining the two exercises, all right? So that's usually a lighter weight, and that's going to work our shoulders. I'm going to hit start on the timer. I'm going to grab the weights I want. For that, I'm going to hit start on the timer, and we're going to get going right away. So I'm going to hit start in three, two, and one. Here it goes. So front lateral raise, shoulders back and down. We lift to the front, and then we lift out to the side. Good. So we're stopping right at chest, shoulder level. We're not raising super high. And we're keeping those shoulders plugged back into their sockets. So when we lift to the front, see my shoulders are back. I'm not rolling out. That's super important. Most of us, due to the nature of how we work with everything out into the front of us, our shoulders naturally roll forward. So when we lift our arms forward, we let them roll. We want to keep them back. Finally got weights between five and 10. I have eight. So I'm so happy to challenge myself with these front lateral raises, but. Oof. All right, so I know I need those. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave those out. So guys, next our combination is going to be an inchworm with a push-up at the bottom. I'm gonna modify the push-up. So I'll show you the modified push-up version. You don't have to modify if you don't want to. If you're a master of a push-up, you go ahead and knock it right on out. So inchworm, we come down, we try to keep our legs as straight as possible. We walk out, taking as few as steps as possible, and then I'm gonna drop my knees, push up, hit my head on the exercise ball, and then walk myself back. I'm gonna come a little off camera here at the top of my inchworm. Good, so we come all the way down, we walk ourselves out, Trying to keep our hips steady. Drop down to our push-up. I'm gonna lift my knees and walk it back up. So, take as many steps as you need. Of course, challenge yourself to not have to take many, but, you know, I take three to four, but if you need six, you need eight, whatever it is you need, take it. Awesome. All right, we're gonna come down to the floor. We're gonna need one heavy weight. We're gonna do a renegade row. I'm gonna do this modified. Renegade row, how this is a combination is we're working our core and we're working our lats, which is all part of our core. So renegade row, left side. You can either do a full plank or modified to get to your modified. Of course, we hold plank and then drop our knees. Now we're modified. I like to widen my knees a little bit more so I have a sturdy base. And then we pull up, scraping past our ribs. Now if you do full plank, you just come up to full plank again, widen that base, whoop, and then almost tip over, and we pull here. That's a really challenging exercise, guys, and we're doing it for a minute. So just be mindful. Keeping the shoulders square off, facing the floor, so I'm not rolling up like this. Whew. Whew. Stay on the floor. We're doing an elbow plank saw. I know you guys hate it. I know, I know, I know. But it's so good. So, elbow plank. We're coming down to our forearms, to our elbows. We want our hands to either be spread like this, or they can be like this. But I just beg you, if you're like this, don't squeeze and tense up. That's why I like this version. Because you can keep your neck nice and long and not tense up. So we're here in our low plank. 
and we are just rocking forward and back. You guys, try to keep that chest kind of shining forward through your arms instead of sort of hunched up like this. Try to keep that back nice and flat, chest shining forward. And it's a lot. If you need to take a break, just take a break, come back, stretch it out, bring it back up. definitely challenging our stamina on some of these exercises. So that's another thing that's great about circuit. We're building muscle, we're also building stamina at the same time. All right, guys. So we've got a wide row, reverse flat. We've done this combination a time or two. So we're going to be here into our reverse flies. This is the W of firework. Wide row, reverse fly. So we fly back. Flip our weights, wide row, back, flip, wide row, got it? So hitting similar places in those shoulders, the reverse fly hits a little bit higher up, sort of mid-shoulder, and then the wide row is working lats right underneath kind of where that reverse fly works. guys. I'm trying to be better about not craning my head up at the camera. My chiropractor knows I do these videos and very wisely mentioned, uh, okay, we've got overhead press, the bicep curl. So I want to have probably your medium weights for this one. So he knows I do these videos and he's like, I think you have trouble in your neck sometimes because you're bent like this and instead of having your head in alignment, you're looking up. Where you do squats, stuff like that, you're looking up. And I was like, brilliant. All right, so this is the O in firework. We're going to bicep curl, overhead press. So this is our O, overhead press. This is a narrow overhead press. So we curl up, press straight up, bring it down. Make sure you're executing each piece of these combinations and not just kind of flowing through it. So we bicep curl up, overhead press, complete it. I like to flow movements together, but sometimes if we get a little too flowy, our form breaks down. It's like our bicep curl, we might start to kind of swing it up just because it flows more nicely that way. Woo. All right, we've got those renegade rows, other side. And guys, just a tip too, if you, if the doing it from even modified plank is too intense, which I get it, it's very intense, you can work from tabletop. We do these tabletop rows in class too. So if being back modified is too intense, then just come to tabletop and lift here. That's perfectly fine. Looking around for my little exercise ball that I use to boost my hand. It's just like when we work in tabletop. It's kind of nice to have a hand elevated. If you have a, like me, I'm kind of bopping the floor after each rep. If you have a hand elevated, then you won't do that. I'm going to chop that down during our break. I'll show you what I mean. Tricep, tricep kickbacks with a squeeze. So we're going to kick back, squeeze together, and kick back, 
squeeze together. All right. So set up for our kickbacks. Got our little seat, tail tucked, neck in alignment. Squeeze back, together, up, back, together, and back, together. So we're talking about neck alignment. You see how my neck is right in line with my spine, neck kind of flowing right into the back. So be mindful. I already talked about having your head craned up like this. Also be mindful in this position you're not like this, either. I've seen it go in every direction. Kick back, squeeze. Woo! All right guys, that is our break. We got a minute and a half. Catch your breath, rethink your weight selection if you need to. Um, I'm going to grab For myself, this little guy, this is what I was talking about with the Renegade Rose. Something to help prop myself up. So I've got a little bit of distance between that weight, a little more distance between that weight and the floor. Um, yoga block would be perfect. That's what I would use. I just don't have a yoga block out here today. So that's what I would use if I had it. But again, that's in those Renegade Rows. If you're not doing full plank Renegade Rows, if you're modified, in tabletop, then it's a really good idea to elevate yourself up, especially when we get there. All right, guys, we've got just under 40 seconds. Let me take a quick peek, and we'll do it all over again. Whew. All right, we've got 20 seconds. So you might see already doing eight upper body exercises for a long time, that's more endurance plus muscle building. So you might see that, oof, maybe, you know, normally I do 15s, but I need 12s or 10s. That is totally fine, okay? Just make sure that at the end of the minute, when the minute's up, that you feel fatigue. If you get to the end of the minute and you're like, eh, I could have kept going, probably need to up your weight. Um, if you get to the end of the minute, you're like, I could do two or three more, that's okay, that's a good place to be. If you get to the end of the minute and you're like, I could have just kept on going, then you need to up your weight for sure. <sighs> that being said, if you can only get through about 30 seconds of the circuit, then you need to drop your weights a little bit. And it's all about what you're going for. If you're really challenging yourself and you're like, no, I want to get to a minute of the heaviest weight I can do, and you get to 45 seconds, something like that, then maybe that's okay. Again, it's just your goals, what you're trying to work towards. Like I said, today's about strength building and muscle endurance. All right. Inchworms with those push-ups. So again, inchworms, you want to keep your legs as straight as you can through the whole exercise. The walk in and the walk out. You want to keep them straight as you can. For some people that's easy, for some people it's really difficult. So it's again, straight as you can is what you're looking for. So we come down, we walk it out, drop our knees, push up or do full push up, walk it back. So you want to keep it steady too as you walk out. You don't want to be rocking back and forth. Keep it steady. That might need you to widen your feet a little bit to have a more sturdy base. That's okay. You might also, if you do these a lot, Challenge yourself to lead with different hands. Like if you always walk yourself back up by pushing with your left first, try pushing with your right first instead. Woo-hoo! All right, guys. 
chest two down. So keep those renegade rows down the floor. And I can show you what I mean by that hand prop now. But using this guy. So before, I'm down like this in my modification. And you see how I'm all jammed up in my shoulder. The weight's on the floor. I can row. But then I sort of dead stop. If I have something under my hand to support me, now look at this nice extension I get. I can extend my arm all the way, unlike before when I was jammed up into my shoulder. So I've got such a better range of motion. I can support myself more fully in this hand over here. Again, instead of being jammed up to my shoulder. So I strongly recommend considering propping yourself up if you're modifying in any way. And I have short limbs. I can't imagine what you long limb people are going through. <laughs> Awesome, guys. All right. Put that elbow plane saw. So again, here or here. So if you're here, make sure you're not tensing, squeezing those hands and those shoulders, okay? That's going to fatigue you even faster than the exercise would. So we've got elbows, under shoulders, neck long, push that floor away. Chest is pushing, shining that heart forward. And push through those toes, pull through those elbows. And really think about keeping that core tight, lower belly up and in. That's going to help you tremendously feel stronger. Again, we've got that head in neutral, not craned up or staring down at our toes. Whoo -hoo. All right, come on up, be mindful. There's somebody who gets a little swimmy headed when you stand up. So make sure you move slowly if you need to. We've got that wide row. Reverse fly, W of our firework. <sighs> All right. Shoulders back and down. We sit into that little seat. We open, flip, row. So again, you're getting very similar sensations with these two exercises just sort of moves where you feel it, just a little bit in the body. Good. Now guys, if you do these exercises, these two, and you feel a lot of tension up high in your neck, or those muscles right below your neck, your traps, and you want to consider taking that weight down. That means that the weight's too heavy and you're like cranking through everything to get that weight up. So, you know, if you're here and it's too heavy, you're going to more pull up into all these muscles or you're going to bounce. So be mindful of that. Again, this is your body and you'll know what to do. All right. Wide. Sorry, not wide. Overhead press, bicep curl combo. So, we execute our curl. Push overhead, down, back the way we came. Execute that curl, push, back the way we came. Good. This is one where I'm doing a little self-preservation. Taking my bicep curl a little lighter than normal. If 
but combined with all these other exercises, by the end of the minute, again, I'm in that place where I'm like, maybe I have a couple more in me. All right, back down to the floor. We've got the renegade row on that other side. And again, strongly consider yourself a prop. Like I said, yoga block is perfect, perfect. This works pretty well. It fits the size of my hand pretty nicely. But really anything, as long as it's comfortable and sturdy, keeps you steady. So get firm, get those shoulders back, pick your modification, or you can be in full plank. Here we go. Make sure you stay on top of that arm. So you saw me just kind of shimmy up because I noticed I was getting back behind my hand, behind my wrist. And again, you can come right up into tabletop and row. You're still going to work your core in tabletop. It just won't be quite as intense. Because that's where we're getting the combination in this exercise is by incorporating the core work. All right, try to pick back and squeeze, and we'll be done with round two. Oh, dope. All right, so sit back, head in alignment, kick back, squeeze at the top, and then squeeze them together. Squeeze at the top, squeeze them together. And this is our K in firework. A little squeeze is a game changer, isn't it? Almost there, we're under 10. Good job, guys. That is the end of round two. Oh, so we're gonna get in a half. Catch your breath. Again, reevaluate that weight selection. I'm gonna say it one more time, and we'll stop being the dead horse. If you haven't got something to elevate your hand, if you're modifying your renegade row please give it a shot for me. You'll just feel such a difference, most likely. And it could be a stack of books, really anything. It doesn't have to be tall. You just want to be, when you're on hands and knees, you don't want that weight and that shoulder to be jammed up. You want to be able to extend fully, extend fully, okay? All right, we're just under a minute. I'm going to take a video real quick and be right back. workout. I just think it's fun. I went back and did the New Year's one and I did the was it holidays one, I believe. It's just fun to do. Change things up a little bit. Get a little variety. Challenge my brain to think of exercises that begin with certain letters. There was one, I can't remember which holiday it was, that I was like beating my head in trying to think of something to do for that letter. I can't remember which one it was. This one was pretty easy. A lot of times once I get the, the theme as far as like I want to do upper body or that helps. There was one letter there. I was just, I was trying so hard to do a holiday theme one and I could not for the life of me come up with it. So we're stopping at that shoulder height. 
and we're keeping those shoulders plugged back in that front raise. We're not letting our shoulders roll forward. So we're back and arms lift. We don't do that. And this is another one that your body will really give you cues. If you're too heavy, you're going to feel pulling in your neck. Like this is borderline for me. I have to be real mindful. I should probably be about a pound lighter, to be honest. But as long as I'm mindful, I can keep this from doing too much for me. All right, inchworm, push up, coming up. Whew. And again, if you're having that problem of being unsteady, just give yourself a little wider base. You don't want to be in the splits, but you know, hip width or a little further, that's fine. And we walk it out, steady. Drop knees if you're modifying. Push up, lift, push back. Good job, friends. You also get a nice stretch in those hamstrings. When you bend over like that, a little added bonus of the exercise is a little stretch at the end. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. All right, we're in a good row down to the floor. Guys, I always remind you, please be mindful in these up and downs out of the floor. If you have any blood pressure issues or you just are really, really exerted, be mindful getting up and down out of the floor. Safety first. Now when you're here guys in this plant hand, whether you're up on something or not, make sure that you're strong through that hand and shoulder, that you're not collapsing down into that shoulder, that you are pushing away nice and strong. We're really working both arms here just in different ways. So don't feel ashamed at all if you need to go into tabletop. This is a tough, if you're doing it right, this is a tough exercise. I always looked at the full renegade rows like that. One of those fitness pinnacle exercises. <sighs> all right, elbow plank. You can get it set up. Elbows under shoulders. Strong, strong, strong. Low plank, lower those hips. Let that chest pull a little forward. Mm -hmm. So many pops today. <laughs> Push through those elbows. Stay strong. Whew. All right. I'm not, I'm not ashamed. That was a hard exercise to do for a bit. Ah. So if you need to take a little break for a sec, do it, do it. I'm not going to shame you for that. All right, we've got that wide row, reverse fly, W and our firework. I wish I had like a little sparkler or something to celebrate with you guys.
Good job, friends. Squeezing through that back. Backs of those shoulders. Big, strong back muscles. So important. For stability. Protect our spine. Keep it strong. Also working your back really helps to sculpt that kind of hourglass or V-shape, depending on what gender you are. Ah, that shape that you're looking for, that's a big part of it. Should kind of build that wide back, narrow. And if you're a lady, wide back, narrow, a little wider. <laughs> Unless you're made, then it's wide back, narrow, narrow. <laughs> Got a little bit of hips, I guess. <sighs> All right, bicep curl, overhead press. We curl, we press, we bring it down. Again, execute each movement. Don't make it so fluid that it kind of becomes this just blah, blob of, of movement. Execute each piece accurately. Good job, guys. Woo. All right, come on down. We've got that renegade row on the other side now. modification. Again, if you're in modified, make sure that you're over this wrist and that you're pushing away. And you've either got your knees slightly behind your hips or right underneath your hips and tabletop for the fullest modification. here. If you find yourself creeping back, kind of push yourself back over that wrist. All right. We're almost there, guys. Tricep kickbacks with the squeeze. Keep in mind, as I tell you to tuck your tail, I don't mean underneath you. I just mean usually we sit back and poke our butt out. Tuck it back in. It help keeps that low back in a safer position. I notice anytime I did exercises in this position, my low back would start to kill me. that kind of butt pooch and then my hips are crooked so it was a a duck butt a crooked duck butt oh whew. all right friends that's the end of round three so we got just one round left you got a minute and 22 seconds to catch your breath pull yourself together Get yourself psyched up for one more round. This is where we really get into that endurance. Because if you think about it, you know, working for a minute, you're probably doing more reps than we normally do. You know, we normally do 10 to 12. 
chances are in a minute you're doing more than 10 to 12 reps so that's already some endurance and then usually we do three sets here we're doing four so you know again start to get that bad rap for being easy but think about that like all the extra reps you're doing a whole extra set that you're doing so it's a lot to it if you're feeling fatigued the end around three that's normal you probably should be in that place if you're at the end around three and you're like eh, might want to reevaluate your weight selection maybe you're modifying something you don't need to be modifying something like that so just think about it remember the workout is yours you have to push yourself I'm going to take the video real quick. Yeah, so I'm not there to evaluate how hard you're working. So you've got to take some responsibility for that and also know what you want for the day. So if you're coming into the circuit today and you're like, come back from an injury or you've had some time off or maybe you just don't feel that strong today. Like I'm definitely having a day today where, you know, I feel like, hmm. If I even tried to do my normal weights, it wouldn't work. You know, because there's those days. But that's fine. Scale your workout accordingly, you know. There's days that you just don't have it. There's days that you're just not your full self. <sighs> but if you're coming to the workout full self, ready to work, and you're not tired at all by the end of round three, then you need to think about your weight selection and how hard you're pushing yourself. That's your responsibility. I can help you with that when I see you in person, but not via video. Good job. And it's really important to do that. You know, I've, um, I've got several clients that are going through some things right now. Some pretty intense things. And when we work together, I've been letting them select their weights. I do the, I write the workout, but I've been let them select their weights. Because their body they have is not their normal body. So I give them the work to do, but they pick their intensity as far as weights go. No one ever. <laughs> that rarely is going to come out of my mouth either. All right, guys, we've got the renegade row, left side. <sighs> so funny. Sorry, I keep. I know I mess with my clothes a lot, anyways, when I work out, but these pants are super high waisted. <sighs> like I keep having to roll them up, roll them down, roll them up, roll them down. those ribs. You should feel this in your back. Not in a bad way. Those big muscles that run down alongside your spine. That's what you should be feeling. Whew. I'm unfortunately feeling my wrist today too. shoulders, they work your core. 
All right. There's elbows down. Again, right underneath our shoulders. Nice wide hands. Shoulders back and down. So back, lower those hips. Shine that chest forward. When I say shine your chest forward, that just helps you from kind of tucking in like this. You shine that chest forward, that elongates that spine. Stay strong, guys. I don't know how much longer we have. I can't see the timer. If you need to stop, you can hold elbow plank. Or, of course, come out of it, take a break, and jump back in. Woo! See, and sometimes you can make your last one your best one. That was the first one that I didn't take a short break. So... Sometimes just knowing you don't have to do it anymore is <laughs> enough to push through it to the end. <sighs> All right, friends, we've got the wide row, reverse fly. Good job. You guys, make sure too in your reverse fly that you're opening. A lot of people tend to lift. I'm not even going to show you with weights because I will hurt myself. But a lot of people try to lift up out of their shoulder instead of opening. Whew. So yeah, a lot of times people instead of opening, they'll do this. Almost like a lateral raise, but bent over in a really bad position. So always remember, we used to call it a lot hugging practice. You're hugging, closing, hugging. All right. O in firework, overhead press and bicep curl. Making sure guys in that overhead press that you're keeping your shoulders down, away from your ears, that you're not lifting all the way up. Shoulders stay down. Good job, guys. Oh, we are so close. We are in the home stretch. We've got the R and the K in firework, and we are done. <sighs> that is music to my ears for sure. <laughs> Stay strong, guys. Now that fatigue is real. Woo! All right, we are on our last exercise. We have got the K of firework. And 
we are done. Ah. All right, guys. Let's hit those triceps. Sit back. Get that head in alignment. Kick back. Squeeze. Bring it back. Squeeze it at the top. Squeeze it together. Let it in. Squeeze. Squeeze. Feel it everywhere. My whole upper body's like, all right, we get it. <laughs> Last 10 seconds. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, wait. Oh, my goodness, friends. What a workout. Oh, wow. Guys, I hope that you are with me. Sweaty. Oh, feels like my whole upper body is just kind of limp noodle and vibrating. <laughs> that is exactly where you need to be. That is that sweet fatigue that we're looking for. Where you're like, I mean, if you ask me to move something heavy, I probably could, but like once. <laughs> And that's it, you know, you, you don't want to be where you can't feed yourself, which I've been there, <laughs> but uh, you want to feel that sweet, I'm just tired enough kind of feeling. So guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed our firework out circuit. Just a fun way to celebrate. Um, I do have some stuff coming up. It's just, you know what, the world's back open. I think I put in my post, or an upcoming post, you know, it's like, oh wow. With things open back up and things being a little more normal. There's all these plans I haven't had to consider before. So um, next workout, which would normally be Tuesday, I do have to cancel. I have to go into the office. Um, and we have some late afternoon stuff. So I just don't know that I'm gonna be able to make it back in time for the workout. So Tuesday will be canceled, but then going forward, I don't know of anything upcoming so far that's gonna be canceled. So just bear with me for one more class cancellation and then we'll get back to it. So guys, I hope you have a great, great, great holiday weekend. Enjoy your 4th of July. Enjoy your cookouts, your fireworks. Keep your animals safe. They are scared, <laughs> you know, um, and just have a great time. Enjoy yourself. I will see you in a few days for another great workout. Thank you so much. Mwah.